Yo, 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 Internet, look at this. Drew Timas is alive. I know I've been gone for a while, but uh, I'm back with a brand new adventure map for me, not so new to the Minecraft community, called The Forest of Silence. All the information will be in the description. And um, before I start on this grand adventure, to which there's a pretty elaborate story, there's like a long document that I have to read to you in order to explain everything to you, I want to get a few things out of the way. Um, I believe I said so in my last Let's Play Flash games, but that wasn't uh, that widely watched. If you haven't seen it, go watch it, because it was pretty funny. Um, I want to thank all of you again for the 1K subs, and I haven't forgotten about that. I still want to do something special for 1K subs. I have a few things in mind. I've gotten a few suggestions, and I'll probably make a separate vlog in the near future talking about that and asking for your guys' opinions. But right now, I know it's been a while, and you want more Minecraft, so let me get to this. Here's what's going on here in the Forest of Silence. Um, we have been searching for a cure to a mysterious disease that is ravaging our village, aren't we always? Um, me and perhaps a few others are the only ones immune to this terrible disease, which is slowly killing the population, and uh, the dying mayor tasked us with finding a way to save the village. Research we researched for months, um, and then we finally found a mention of a mythical tree, uh, and it hidden somewhere in the deep of the forest of silence. Okay. Um, but there was a problem. These forests are owned and garden guarded. <laughs> Uh, well, they might be gardened as well, because someone's got to take care of the forest, right? By strange, primitive tribesmen, and uh, contacting them would be hard, and convincing them to let us pluck fruit... To let us pluck fruit, I can't read today, from their sacred tree of life would be even harder. Um, after another few weeks of rough trekking, we managed to contact the elders of one of the more civilized tribes, who offered a safe passage near the tree. They said due to the sacred nature of the landscape, however, we would not be permitted to see where they brought us. They would knock you out and leave you in a leafy cabin where boys of the tribe would be left to prove their manhood. Then they promised to search for you in a week back at the cabin. If you had found the fruit of the tree and survived, as they expected you back there, um, the journey would be short. Before they knocked you out, however, they gave you a warning. The tree has been acting very odd recently, and the fruit may not be pure. The tree may have some problem, and if you were to come across it, things could go very wrong for you. But before we could object, we got knocked out and brought to the cabin, and now the adventure starts with us waking up, and as you can see... We wake up inside the hut. I didn't hear anything about a hut. They told me it was a cabin. Okay, I'm out of breath. That was a mouthful. Whew. Okay. Before we go on this adventure, we have to make sure that we're playing on peaceful. So I'm going to use my Minecraft God powers right now. And, uh, make sure we're on peaceful. Okay. Moving on. Oh my god, there's more reading. There are rules. No breaking or placing unless directed. If you get some kind of fire starter, don't use it. Play on peaceful. Put your graphic setting on fast. Keep an eye out for hidden stuff. Some of it is hard. It always is. That stuff is usually redstone. This is your score. Okay. Lucky for us, I don't care about redstone. So if we find it, we find it, but it's not the objective. I'm just kind of here to show off a cool map and have some fun with it. So after reading the rules, start here. Jump. Why, why would I do that? I Checkpoint room. Okay. Oh, wait. Matt, we're going to go here in a minute. I want to do something real quick. I sort of realized I didn't get whatever's in this chest. Hi, chest. There's a map for us, so we'll take that. Oh. That's pretty boss. Wow. Okay. Moving on. This is a checkpoint room. Let's see what we got going on in here. So, after you reach... The tree, you will not return here. Bear this in mind if you wish to store items here. Okay, fair enough. Um, that's checkpoint number four, the tree. Checkpoint number three, the village. I'm guessing I can't go to any of these until I have unlocked them myself. So let's just do as directed and start jumping. When an adventure starts with a jumping puzzle, I don't like that. But, ugh, see? Awful at Minecraft jumping. One time, someone uh, one time someone in the comments of a video um, gave me like really helpful tips, and they were really helpful. But I just don't like jumping in Minecraft in general. Uh, I had a really bad experience. The first parkour map I ever did was a really intense Mirror's Edge map with Left Tier One and Sebi, and oh, that redstone wasn't hard to find. And I kind of failed it up and. Um, that's why I have a sort of aversion, because I made a fool of myself in front of many, many more people than I usually do. Okay, jump. It is possible, really. 
Uh, yeah, I did it. If if I can do it, anyone can do it. Of course it's possible. Okay. And I guess we'll pop down here. Blop. Uh. Okay. Cool. You know, I always wonder, why aren't my torches out? Like, why isn't the water spilling onto these torches? Whatever. Let's see, like, my torches all break when I pass through water like that. Where are we? Am I underwater? I am underwater. I'm going to keep moving. All right. It's dark. Hmm. Okay, it's not a maze. Thank God. Is it a maze? No. Okay. I have to find the three buttons to open the passage. It is a maze. A dark maze at that. Lucky for me, I have torches. So I'm going to light this whole place up, and we'll be done with this in no time. By the way, if you notice that uh, the leaves look kind of weird, it's because I am playing with the Quandry Pack. I think it's the Autumn Pack or something. Um, I really like it, and this is my favorite time of the year, so I like when the trees are orange. Otherwise, they would be green. Sorry, map maker. Hmm. I need to find the buttons. I see nothing even resembling a button. I don't... I think this is a lie. Say what? Did that do it? Kind of. Now yeah, we're getting there. So one button was on the roof. That was cool. What are the rest of the buttons? I know this is I can't break things, but if I place things... Oh, I said I can never place things. I cheated already. I'll never do it again. Never mind. Then why'd they give me torches? So that just doesn't make any sense. What else would I do with torches? What's the point of giving me torches? Oh, see, that was an accident, I, I swear. Now I can't get the torch. What is going on here? Oh no. I'm a disappointment. Is there a button in here? There is. Okay. Let's see if I can cheat the system. Ha ha! So then you, I guess I found the third button by accident. Good enough for me. Alright. Hello, my name is Ugandi, and I am here to guide you. A pumpkin is here to guide me? Oh my god. This is great. No one told me the people who lived here were pumpkin people. This is fantastic. This is the best adventure ever. Thank you, Ugandi. Let's go. Help me out. What else can I do? I seek the tree. Yes, I do. And it is around the bend. Okay, that's cool. Uh, but there's hidden treasure to be found. I like hidden treasure. I'll meet you at the corner. Yeah, sure. And uh, when I am ready to seek the uh, cure from the tree. Uh, yeah. Did you die? You want to finish that statement or do you always make cryptic leading statements like that, Ugandi? Well, Ugandi even knows what he's doing. That's the tree. It's got to be the tree. But I have to meet Ugandi at the corner. I think I don't think I should deviate like this. Ugandi. Knock, knock. Hey, uh, Uganda, you there? Uganda doesn't even know what's going on here. This is just nonsensical. I'm gonna follow this. It will follow Uganda's torches and Uganda's sheep. Here's a button. Uh, Uganda, did that do anything? Hey, hey, Uganda.
Thanks a lot for nothing, you Gandhi. Useless. You're not here to help me. You're here to lead me on the wrong track, you Gandhi. Quite frankly, I'm hurt that you thought you could take advantage of me like that. I'm gonna find my own way, Ugandi. Except there's there's nowhere to go. Oh, huh. yes, there is. Hey, Ugandi, how you doing, bro? Over here, yeah. Do I have to chase you now, Ugandi? Is that it? Yes, I'm chasing Ugandi through the forest. Oh, hey. So, uh, I will store my stuff in here. Okay. Including my map, which I really don't feel like I'm gonna need. Thank you, Ugandi. The tree is closed! What is this nonsense? Oh, God. I may now place levers, but only on black wool. Fair enough. Uh, and a strange cave has opened up. Please go inside and see what can be done to reopen the tree. Oh god, Ugandi, what are you getting me into? Into the cave we go- Oh, Ugandi, this- The things I'll do for natives I don't know. Be careful down there! Gee, really? I should be careful? Thanks! I appreciate the advice. What's in here? Lots of torches. I feel like that's important. I'm going to leave that alone. I still can't place things. Can I? I feel like I should be able to place torches. I'm giving myself that privilege. Executive decision is made. But uh, let's get out of here. Maybe I'll come back to those torches in a minute. I'm really afraid of a giant pillar of lava in the center of the room. I don't know. I don't really know why that why that spooks me, but uh, it does. Maybe maybe it shouldn't. Oh yeah, did you guys see that? That was a really nice, really nice sprint jump right there. Oh. Mm. Mm. Damn it, damn it. <sighs> okay. I'm good. It's all good. I'm fine. This is fine. Moving on. Yeah, this, there was no reason to even attempt that. Huh. Seriously, what a sexy sprint jump. Ugandi! Can I have some help? Please, Ugandi. Ugandi's kind of a tool, just sort of leaving us up here. I see a button. That's where we're going. I don't know how yet. That's definitely where this is heading. To that button. I also feel like I'm going to catch fire in pursuit of that button. Oh, this is, this is the only way to get to the button. Realistically. Okay. God, this is evil. Who does this to people? So, like, how am I supposed to make this now? Without catching fire. You know what? We have an objective, and it's been a while. So let's call it a day at the bottom of this cave that Ugandi so rudely stuck us in. And we'll get back to uh, this little button hunt soon. Thank you guys so much for watching. I am back. This is going to be a thing. 1K celebrations coming soon. We're going to mold it based off what you want to see. And, uh, you know, to the next 1K and beyond. You guys are the best. I am incredibly happy to be back after a week hiatus. And I hope you guys are as excited as I am. Don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, and all that good stuff that makes me an incredibly happy person. Because if you guys are making me happy, I get to make you happy. And then everyone's happy. And maybe if you look out your window, you'll see a unicorn jumping the moon or something.
because that's how happy everyone is. All right, thanks a lot, guys. I'll see you soon.